two legends on one track, Mystical D, Manik Sab G on this one, the vocals of uh, the legend himself, alongside another legend, a man who's been uh, just representing the Pangra scene in his own unique way, always a leader, not a follower. And even if you don't like him, you respect him. That's what Mr. Punjabi MC is all about. His brand new album is out right now. It's called The Raj. And Raj is in the studio with me. Thank you very much for waking up in the morning. No, no you're, looking after, you're looking after me, man. You're looking after me. <laughs> How you doing, brother? You cool? Yeah, I'm brilliant now. Got my coffee here. Got the I've coffee. Got my um, little bin of dikori. <laughs> Sandy, same bin? Yeah, well. Almost. Nice. Almost. That's what it says. Got, you got sweets as well. Got a sweet as well. Can I just say, Punjab BMC, right, over the years, has just proper mellowed out. You have proper... Hey. You chill. No, you remember me from the days when I used to come in there in the to be a boxer <laughs> and uh, all angry and everything and, like, jumping on everybody. You, you used to no, be... No, it doesn't work. That doesn't work. You used to be a very angry young man. I was, and uh, but it doesn't work. Like, you know, people don't respect that so much because, uh, you know, you've got to kind of be on a level and... Have be, have some patience. <laughs> have patience. Lots of patience. Well, first things first. Congratulations on the album. Um, I mean, obviously, Indian timing came out, and that was let's face it, Indian timing. It took a long, long time, and now you've just followed up with another eighteen-track album. Um, why? Why so quickly? What? What's happened? Well, it's been two years. Uh, in, I mean, Indian Time came out two thousand and eight. Yeah, so I mean, from from when we last heard, from when as, still uh, in bangled. respect to yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, in respect of like yeah. That. So, so now Punjabi MC is kind of back on the production real yeah, hard, yeah, and yeah. you're coming out with new stuff. So, mm. you know, how has the last couple of years been for you? It's been a it's been a lot more like it was before I went on the like the world tour thing. That's what what it was. I mean, I was I was also going through a lot of like um, politics and stuff through the record from the record company it's, okay. uh, itself, the industry itself. Yeah. Um, because I'm not really an industry kind of person, you know. I, I, like you, as you know, I don't go and do a lot of promotion. You know, you have to be friends before you get me on the radio. <laughs> you know that sort of vibe. So. You know, I wasn't I wasn't getting on with stuff. So, and also at the same time, I was doing a, a lot of touring and stuff. So, um, yeah, I mean, the production side of it just went in a little bit in the background. Uh, but yeah, now now I'm back. I mean, I'm already working on my new one. Wicked. And so, yeah. I mean, for you, it must you must really be living the dream because you know, <laughs> when it when it comes down to looking back at the history of Bhangra music, you yeah. know, you will always be the guy that took Bhangra music to the mainstream. Now, that's a big deal, considering yeah, that, yeah, yeah. you know, many people have tried in many different forms. Um, you know, you actually, it was it was actually a Bhangra track which made it to the mainstream. It wasn't a track made for the mainstream, you know. Yeah, people, yeah. you know, will remember Legalized. It was on there and it mm. got picked up years later. I mean, how has, how has it been for you, you know, starting off as, you know, Punjab BMC in your bedroom making music, not quite sure, you know, tempo wise and key wise and all these things going on, and you're now on a world tour. How how has that journey been for you? Can you when you look back at it? Yeah, well, we when I look back to that side of things, yeah, it was amazing the fact that uh, you know Jay Z was rapping on that because you know for someone like us, you know, we were like we was in the studio, you know, cares from studio yeah, yeah, most yeah. of the time. And, uh, you know, I, I do actually remember saying to uh, KS Bomber, like, you know, that at the end of the day, you know, when we go top of the pops, you know, because that was the big program to be on in the That was days. the one. And when we go top of the pops, you know, we're going to be like uh, taking a doll with us, you know, not it's not going to be, you know, remixed or anything, that kind of vibe. But, you know, d- d- we wasn't sure that, we didn't realise that America, New York, you know, cats out there was listening to Bongara, you know, and stuff. So it was a, it's a big eye opener for everyone, you know, and to. The fact that you know Jay Z was in London hearing Mundata Bajki wanted to jump on that, you know, and then and then I got the um, I, I got the phone message, you know, like um, here here's the verse, what do you think, you know, what I mean, <laughs> and it was, you know it was, it's crazy because yeah, I mean, and then also just just going over to New York and places and hearing people's uh, views on Bangla, the history of where they first heard Bangla, and, it, and it was like some big cats out that was telling me that oh we heard Bangla, we've been listening to it for years, uh. you know. And there's, you know, and since '95, '97, we've been listening to Bhangra music from the UK. You know, <laughs> I was thinking, yo, you know, just hearing that and knowing that it was, it was, it was a mad, crazy vibe. I mean, how do you feel now when you're you're out and about? And you, you know, for me personally, you know, on a Bhangra level, you know, if I'm out and I'm at a you know a non-Asian gig, you know, you're hearing you know, hearing hip hop has R and B on a night, and as soon as that you hear that Dumbi riff, and you're like, wow, I, I actually feel as a Bhangra fan, it's like. Wow, that's the most amazing thing I'm hearing right here, right now. Do you get that feeling when, you know, when you're out and you you hear someone else playing that track, 
how does it feel for you when you when you hear that track kick off? Yeah, I mean, when I'm in a club like somewhere and they don't know it's PMCs yeah. or anything, I've just walked in with a couple of lads. Yeah. yeah, the track's playing and it's like a mainstream crowd, and yeah, it has been accepted into that into that kind of like um, you know the mainstream cycle, or whatever, and people know that track, you know, so. And it's the kind of party track, so people get off on, you know, get ready for that. So, yeah, I mean, it, it feels good. Obviously, it feels good. It feels really good to, to, you know, to know that it's, it's gone that far for all of us, for the industry, everybody, you know. Brilliant. All right, if you've got any questions uh, for Punjabi MC, uh, get in touch with us. Let us know, uh, and we will we'll ask the man himself. He's here in the studio on the BBC Asia Network. Eight one eight six nine on text. You can email breakdown at bbc.co.uk as well. One thing I've always wanted to ask you, right, is how does it feel to have everybody claiming that they made the Mundial Tabachki? Because that was the one thing for me. It was brilliant. Oh, you know, I'd be sitting there going, yeah, he's made Mundial Tabachki. They've said they've done it. And, you know, the fact that if you have Punjabi MT's name attached to yourself, you automatically kind of move up, you know, in terms of status and all that. I yeah. mean, how do you feel sitting back as the guy who actually did the, you know, the product and whatever? <laughs> you got all these people saying that we've worked with him. We did this. We did that. Does it, you know, has... Has that kind of gone out of your mind now? Is that is that the old angry young man type of person who like why are they saying that? Or do you just not care? Yeah, um, I, I guess I'm, I'm not I'm not too, you know, it's, it doesn't affect me, you know. So it, it, there's nothing to care about, you know. It's done. That's it. Yeah, I'm doing my thing. Do you know what? Do you know what? At the end of the day, look, it, it's like you know, I've got a lot of favorite tracks out there. You yeah, know? I give you an example. You know, Rock Sun by the Police. You know. Want to, you know, put that track on and everyone needs to just like be quiet, you know? What I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, and, and and it's like, I love that song, but you know, I'm not a big fan of Sting. Okay. He wrote the song, he performed it, he played it, you know what I mean? It's, without him, that track wouldn't exist, but you know, I'm not a big fan of Sting, but I love that song, you know what I'm trying to say? So at the end of the day, it's like, it's all about the, you know, your personal feelings, relationship with uh, some music, really, and music is a very emotional thing, so. Definitely. Well, it goes, you know? well, get your questions in 81869. We're going to be playing uh, tracks from the Araj, which is the brand new album. Uh, we're going to go with a track, Akadir Ishari, by Mr. Pajab BMC. Let us know what you think of this. Get in touch. We're going to be talking about the brand new album as well. Straight up after this, BBC Asian Network. It's Bangra Breakdown. Tips Bangra, the home of Bangra music around the world. Pajab BMC about to bring you something new.